Well, uh, now that our casting is uh, has been broken out from the ring, it's time, you know, to uh, to clean it up. So, what I'll be doing here, um, using the right uh, the right tools, uh, I will be cleaning off with this burr all this investment out of here, and uh, then we'll go in and sandblast it. And we'll cut the piece off. Uh, we'll be cutting uh, actually all this frame from the sprues. So uh, then we can we will start, you know, to get it ready for the try-in in the mouth, which will be tomorrow actually. And uh, who knows? Maybe I will be in the studio myself uh, while the try-in, and we might, you know, make a small film about it too. We'll see what's going to happen, okay? So, uh, I'm going to proceed into cleaning the investment off. I'll have to uh, uh, turn off the video because I need both my hands in this case. Well, uh, let's see if I can do from here something. Yeah, maybe we can get this done. So, uh, a little bit nasty here, but this is how it's done. First part, the growth is taken off this way. Okay, so at this point, you know, we have uh, cleaned out most of uh, of that material, that that investment from it, and we'll be changing again uh, our tool. We'll be getting a thinner point here. So actually, uh, I will be going inside now the coping. We're taking out that little extra investment which is inside. One thing to point out in this uh, in this casting is the sprueing and the reservoir. Uh, when you're doing castings of this kind, what's important is uh, that your reservoirs are right, otherwise you're going to have porosity. You know, in this in this case, we will see that uh, the density is just fine. I already checked it out, but you know, we can give a closer look soon. I'm holding my tools and, uh, and all the rest so you can see as much as possible. Oh, maybe this lightning will be much better this light now. Okay, you see? Uh, this that you see here on the casting actually is showing that it's perfectly cooling the system because this is the part which is going to be a reservoir for the rest of this casting which is needs to be cooling first in this area cooling in this area so uh, we will have a, a reservoir giving always metal for the density of the coping and uh, as we can see, those uh, five ingots that we used of metal were just fine for this purpose and for this casting. Okay, from here, we're going to move now to our sandblaster. And uh, we will be able to see uh, the cleaning, the cleaning of this coping and of this uh, framework. And for sure, it will give us a new impression. Okay, uh, I'd like to introduce you now to my uh, sandblaster, which actually, you know, withdraws very dry air because we use a, a compressor, a dry unit compressor. Plus, in the prep room here, we do have a, a system to keep air dry for this sandblaster here. Here's uh, the gauge for the sandblaster. It goes through the wall on the other side in the other room. And uh, I would you always, you know, once, once I would walk into a lab, 
the first thing I would check out is the conditions of their sandblaster and uh, this is the condition I always keep mine very efficient it's very important that your sand is uh, is clean and uh, and everything is working uh, is working nice now we'll be hearing a little bit of noise during the sandblasting but so don't get very uh, well close your ears <laughs> Okay, so uh, this is uh, the first, uh, mm, the first, um, first part of sandblasting. Because then I get back to the machine. Uh, what I want to do now is, you know, just just cut this piece off the reservoir. Here it is, and you know, uh, see how it seats on top of uh, on top of my dies. Let's see here. Okay, here it is. See, I cleaned out all the investment. And uh, we'll see, you know, what it's going to look on uh, on the dies very soon. Okay, now uh, we sit down at our finishing position, in our finishing area here, our burrs and everything. What we want to do is take the case now, and uh, after that sandblasting process, we want to take a look at. Um, how we put this here? So, uh, there we go. And we take some excess off of uh, of wax of uh, undercut wax that we use during the that we use during the the waxing uh, procedure. And uh, what we're going to do? We're going to try to seat. See, am I right in the part? Right. Okay, there we go. Okay, now you can see better. We're going to try to see our, our casting just to see if, if we got the job right because, you know, this is the nice part uh, after all that work is to check that our things are done in the right way. And uh, here we want it. Well, I would say, you know, not bad for just uh, sandblasting a casting and you know, for a lot of people, this is, uh, for a lot of dental uh, technicians, this actually is uh, a good result, you know, to sandblast your casting and have it just come straight off and, and see, especially if it's a, if it's a seven unit like this is, I would say not bad, so uh, usually these kind of castings are a nightmare for a lot of people, but you know, if you if you know uh, just a few a few hints of this kind of uh, of this kind of uh, dealing, I guess you can get away with anything, uh, just like we do, or like I do sometimes. Um, so now from here, next thing we do is we'll be cutting the casting off, and we're going to seat back in that area where everything is so dirty. So. Uh, I would say, you know, uh, it's not bad. Oh, my compressor went off in there. And uh, let's see how this thing keeps developing, all right? <laughs> 